Hey there friends, it's Missy again. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm here with a new layout and a fun announcement for Shimmers Paints. I'm so excited to be coming out with my own color kit each month. And here's a quick snapshot of everything that is included in the very first one. This is the March edition of the Missy kit. And I'm gonna show you all of the goodies that you can get if you purchase the kit. Uh, each kit is gonna contain four shimmers paints you're going to get a cut file and you're going to get an exclusive set of the new products that shimmers are coming out with the first color is razzle dazzle berry and this is a vibes it's a deep shimmery pink you're going to get one of my favorites this is inklings minor minor 49er which is a gold a soft blue which is the original shimmers in colder than ice and then a creamies in rednecking and I based these colors on this new product these are called dots and they are the cutest little epoxy buttons and you're gonna get three in this kit and they are little watercolor hearts and each month they're going to be different the uh the product you're going to get each month is going to change but these are exclusive from shimmers and they are adorable you get a red one a light blue one and a pink one and that's what i base the color scheme on this month now you're also going to get an exclusive cut file that you can't get anywhere else and guess who designed it yes paige evans she's partnered with us to create an exclusive cut file each month that you can only get if you purchase the kit and this is the one for this month it is a gorgeous very detailed flower heart and so I cut it on my cutting mat here in white cardstock and very carefully use my little spatula there to peel it off and look at this the detail is just off the charts it's it's gorgeous so I knew that I just wanted to start with everything white and go from there and so that's what I'm gonna do so back to the kit it's $17.95 and that is a lot cheaper than you would pay for each of these paints and the dots and the cut file individually so jump on this if you're interested in these colors the cut file and the dots because it's an amazing kit and I'm just gonna put together a layout here today to show you a sample of of what you could make with these colors and all these goodies so I'm starting with just plain white thick smooth cardstock and I'm smudging some clear gesso over it because I'm going to add lots of color to the background and I think I'm going to situate the heart on top of all this color so I'm just going to start going and spraying and adding color and see where this takes me now this is the razzle dazzle berry you can see how beautiful that is it's a very rich and bold pink and when it dries it's gonna have lots of shimmer to it because there are shimmery powders mixed in with it and I just sprayed it onto the the uh, cardstock and then spritzed it with some water and tilted the paper this way and that way and just kind of let it run on its own I'm gonna flick in a little bit of the rednecking just to give some different tones um, I want this to be primarily, you know, a deep pink color um, since this is a heart and a lot of the embellishments with the hearts, you know, there, there's a pink one and a red one. So I kind of wanted to have lots of pinkish reddish color going on in the background. So I'm, again, spritzing it with water, letting it run. I'm using my brush a little bit to help spread it around. Now I'm going to come in with the original shimmers. This is the colder than ice. And... Uh, these come already mixed up with water all you have to do is stick a brush in there and stir it up and they are very very shimmery they've almost got what I would call ground up glitter in there so you'll be able to see it really well when it's dry here now all I did here was I dabbed a little bit of the paint on an acrylic stamping block and then spritzed it with water turned it over and smushed it down uh, you can see also here if you want to lighten up a color just dab a little bit of it, little bit of it up with a napkin or some paper towels and so you can really get several different shades of with just one color depending on how you know how much water you add or how much water you don't add or how thin you spread it out uh, it's it's all fun I love doing a little bit of all of it I love having some lights and some darks um, yeah I'm just kind of going for it here and seeing where it takes me I think this is the idea that I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna add a lot of color to the background and then place the white cut file on top of it 
So it's really going to pop off of that white. Or the white from the cut file is going to pop against all the color behind it. Like that. Now I do mix in a couple of other colors from my stash. Um, it, you could do that if you want to change the tone of some of these. And uh, I pull in a couple of colors here in a little bit. And I'll tell you all about those when I get to those. But I'm going back to the Razzle Dazzle Berry here. And you can see instantly how darker it looks when I splatter it on since I dabbed up a lot of what was on the background. And so you can see there that it almost looks like two different colors. I'm trying to match the colors of these hearts is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get some reds, some pinks, and some blues. So I'm just going to dab up a little bit. I like to take a napkin sometimes and roll one of the corners of it up into a little little teeny tiny skinny piece and then dab some of the the uh, water up now here's where I added in another color from my stash this is a vibes called Jenny B blue it's a very popular color it's not in the kit but um, I just wanted to have a little bit of a variation on the blue there so that's why I added that in and I'm just gonna continue to work on the background I'm gonna add in some splatters from the rednecking and uh, yeah, I have a couple of different size brushes there, but you can use whatever brush you have uh, to add splatters. And this looks kind of like a hot mess. I know I say this a lot, but it looks totally different when you put the cut file and everything back on top of it because a lot of it is covered up. And you're just going to see it kind of peeking through all of those open spaces. So here's another color that I did add in from my stash. This is another pink. It's more of a bubblegum pink color. It's called Sweetheart, and it's a Vibes also. And again, I just wanted to add a little bit of color variation um, since the two colors in the kit lean more toward the red side. I wanted just a smidgen of something a little bit um, of a different shade. Sometimes my backgrounds take me a while because I get really nitpicky with them and you know like I said it looks different when it dries and so it looks really dark in certain areas and then when it dries it lightens up and so I kind of want to go back and add more and leave it alone and then come back and add more and I just have to get it just so because the, that color on there now looks really dark but it does soften up a little bit. So here's where I got impatient and I wanted to dry it. And so I got out my little heat tool there and I'm still using my brush to kind of help spread some of the color around as it's drying. And I really like the end result of this. I've never actually used my heat tool while I'm pushing water around with a brush, but I liked the end result. So I just keep working at it until it gets dry. And here's where you can really see the shimmer of the different shimmers of each of those products. Look at that blue. That's the one that I said had had ground up glitter in it. It's so fine, but it is so thick and glittery once it's dry. So I'm going to use this black and white picture. It's a selfie I took of me and my daughter. And of course, I was getting some snuggles and kisses from her when we were in the pool. And so I had to grab my phone and snap the pictures. And I love how she's just laughing and she's got her head back and she's, you know, trying to come in for a kiss. I think it's so cute. So when I put the picture back on there, I noticed that I covered up most of the blue. And so, you know, that's just the nature of these kinds of backgrounds is sometimes you feel like you've done too big a section, but then when you put your photo on it, you lose it. And so that's why I wanted to add a little bit more blue so you could see it kind of coming out from underneath and to the side of the picture there, because I'm going to have the heart kind of tilted like I like you keep seeing me put it on there and kind of have the left corner kind of run off the page or the left curved side and then have the photo kind of overlap the bottom right area kind of at an angle also and I love how that's looking I love that you can still see all that detail from the cut file it pops against all of that pretty color so I'm adding more splatters because I, I felt that I couldn't really see the splatters once I added the heart kind of I want to be able to see the splatters around the top and a little bit on the bottom like that I think we're getting somewhere finally so now comes the gold this gold let me tell you 
is awesome. It's very shimmery. It uh, you add water to it when you get it. It's it's uh, dry, and so you add a little bit of water to it, let it sit and soften up. It makes the most beautiful splatters. I promise. If you're looking for a new gold, Minor Minor 49er is, I give it two thumbs up for sure. So now I'm going to start to work on the embellishments. Um, I'm going to add just a little bit of tissue paper behind my photo to give it a little bit of separation. And I do use a little bit of pattern paper here. I, I just made an order from somewhere. I can't even remember at the moment, but I got a couple of random sheets of paper. I saw this paper from Webster's Pages and fell in love with these messy watercolor circle flowers. And so I just decided to fussy cut a couple of those and use those as embellishments uh, to tuck in and around the photo. And then I'm going to make another little cluster up at the top left here momentarily. But I'm going to incorporate the epoxy dots. And the more I, I was working on this and looking at it, I felt like I had so much pink that uh, I didn't really have enough blue. So I'm going to continue to work on adding blue things. And I'm going to start with adding some thread. And that's just some blue uh, sewing thread from my stash that I'm going to tuck in in a couple of places to give another pop of that color. But like I said in the beginning, I did want this to be primarily pink and uh, reddish tones with, you know, touches of blue, but I still felt like I didn't have enough blue. So I just keep working at it. Uh, and the thread is a good thing to use if you like texture and, uh, you know, a little bit of a messy factor going on. Thread is great because it definitely gives texture and it gives little pops of color like you can see over there on the right behind or beside the photo instant color. So here's where I'm going to put the little cluster. I'm trying to figure out where to put this other round flower and the blue epoxy dot. I think I'm going to put the blue one up there since I've got two by the picture. This is something else I just recently got my hands on. It's from the new Heidi Swap collection. It's, uh, I can't remember, Color Fresh maybe? And I got the blue, that's not blue, that's gold. The gold puffy word stickers. And so I'm going to use one of those as my title since I'm going to have, you know, hints of gold on the layout since we've got the minor minor 49er. I'm just going to start gluing everything down. Now, since this is such an intricate cut file, I'm just going to add little bits of glue here and there and get, get it mostly glued down. But I'm not going to go around every single line of every flower and heart and leaf and glue that down. Uh, I think in the in the end it's okay if some of it is kind of raised up off the page and not completely flat. Um, that's okay with me. So I decided to use this word here together. I thought it fit really really nicely under the photo and I'm gonna try... I, I thought about putting it on top of the photo but I liked it better down there. And then also on this sticker sheet are some hearts and they're, I love that they're open and kind of crooked. They're not perfect. So I'm going to use two of those by the photo and then one up in the cluster. So everything that I've got around the photo, I'm going to try to echo up in the cluster. Now these are just from my stash. I have a little bucket of older things on my desk from my stash. And these are, I think from Michaels, these are those little Tim Holtz Word sticker books. I'm going to use a couple of those. The one in the top left says grateful and the one above the picture says happiness and then this one down here says everything and those just add little bits of detail and color and uh, little pops of black and white I'm coming back in with some more splatters from the colder than ice and the minor minor 49er and then I'm gonna come in with my journaling and I'm gonna do my journaling kind of at an angle to match the angle of the photo and the title and then I'm gonna use a black sharpie to write it out. This is another shimmers from my stash. It's just basic black. It's called Night Moves because I wanted to add some black splatters. And then here's where I, I took a break and came back and thought I need more blue. So I decided to add in some leaf sprigs and I just used one of my very old Martha Stewart punches and I'm going to go back to the colder than ice and just paint them really quickly. And I do add a little dot of the Jenny B blue that I used earlier just to give a little bit of variation on the color and just use my brush to kind of uh, smudge it around. 
And I just used plain cardstock for that. I didn't add any gesso or anything because they're so small and I, I didn't add a ton of water. So I'm just going to tuck those in in a couple places around those big flowers just to give it a little bit more blue and a little bit more detail. And I think I'm almost finished. I do glue all of those leaf sprigs down and make sure that all the other goodies are glued down. And I do add the date off camera, but that's the final layout. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're interested in purchasing the kit. They go on sale today. Make sure you visit shimmerspaints.com and you'll be able to see the section of kits. There are also two other kits available this month. One, in, one has sequins, uh, one has stamps, um, and then there's this one. So make sure you check them all out and uh, check out all of these close-ups. I really feel like... This is the, a beautiful kit. I had a great time making this and I'm so excited about Paige creating cut files and the fact that Shimmers is creating something different. Those little dots are awesome. So let me know if you have any questions about the kits or the products or the colors, anything at all. And I will see you guys in my next video and see you soon for next month's kit. Thanks for watching.